Oh my god, the tent is crazy. Hey guys, so I have a couple packages from Yestal to open again, so I'll give you guys a little haul. Yestal right now is having like this campaign for blush. Yeah, I applied for it. They sent me just a bunch of blushes. Um, if you're also an influencer or want to be, you can apply. I put the link in my description box. I would definitely recommend at least applying, like trying it, because you do get a bunch of free things um, sent to you all the time. And if you're making content anyway, like may as well get it free and, you know, post things about it. So yeah, it's a really great opportunity. I highly recommend. I also have a yes star code it is study w like which stands for with kiki one so yeah that should give you a little bit of a discount i've also put in the links to all the items down below and they're like a little commission link so i do get a bit of commission with it but i'm pretty sure you guys also get a bit of a discount using that link so yeah try it out i'll start with the most famous one which is probably the romand better than cheek this is in co2 blueberry chip okay so this is actually the renewed version so the reason why it got renewed is because of like clumping and falling out issues which they fixed in this one and it comes in nine different colors of like dried fruits apparently and you also get a really high color payoff i really like the packaging already it's so pretty it's very like minimalist yeah, it's actually a lot darker than I expected. So this is the one I've actually been the most eager to try. So I'm gonna just use a brush. Oh my god, it is really pigmented actually. Maybe I took too much, but you guys see that? There's so much more color on this side than this side. But it's actually really pretty. Okay, the color payoff is really good. So you really don't need a lot. Yeah, I actually really like that. I think I'll be putting this into my daily rotation, definitely. This one is eight US dollars. You guys, so I've tried out the products and I want to let you guys know my thoughts and opinions after using them. Yeah, this one's really pigmented. I honestly use too much sometimes, like yeah, I get too much on my brush, but it's really small and compact, which I really like. And this is great for like on the go. This one's really nice and affordable as well. So I would highly recommend. Yeah, it's so pretty too. It's so small, I love it. And then I think this is the second most popular one. This is the Day Zeke. Blending Mood Cheek Ice Cream in the shade 07 Candy Berry. Oh, it's so pretty. It's actually so big. Wow. Yeah, they're all very light. So this is the swatches. So the very bottom one is the Roman one and then the top four are the Daisy ones. So I think they're quite a lot more coral than the Roman one. So I'm actually really excited to use that because I've never used like a coral blush before. Okay, so the Daisy one obviously comes with four colors. It's like a palette. Basically there's three different options. There's one that's more cool toned and one that's more warm toned. So one that's like more pinky and one that's more like corally. Um, pretty much they're all inspired by ice cream. So with the prices, this one's 16 US dollars. Personally, the color doesn't suit me that much, but I really like the user experience of it. The finish is really nice as well. And it's quite, pigmented which is great and i like with this even though it's like corally there's like some cool tone and some warm tone so there are some shades that i can actually use which is great and for people who are neutral toned or don't really know if they're warm toned or cool toned i think this palette is perfect lighting is so unflattering in my room it's actually insane is that better anyway the next up juicy pain water blusher in the shade pk03 so this looks like a nail polish also it comes out like a nail polish as you can see it's a lot more pigmented this one's more like a brown it's like a brick color is really nice it's actually really pretty and i love the packaging it's so cute it's actually glass though so it's quite heavy which is unexpected oh my gosh when it dries out this one but like looks so good in person it it literally looks like poreless like this wow it looks really good in person it's a bunch of bright colors it's very vibrant it's got a very watery texture and it's easy to blend you can blend it with your fingers or with a makeup sponge and this one is six US dollars. This one was actually really, really nice. Oh my gosh, once it dries, the finish is like literally so nice. It literally looks like it's stuck on your skin. There's no like flakiness, no cakiness, which is great. I love that about it. I was really scared with like these like liquid blushes that it would be patchy, but this one had I had no issues with, which is great. You only need a little bit and oh my gosh, little goes a long way. So it's really good. And then the last one is the News Liquid Care Cheek. And this is in the shade 05 Veil Bay. So a lot of these... Um, this range is very like nude colored and if you guys didn't know news is a sister brand of romance so news is actually vegan and they have a bunch of ingredients which are skincare related they have like adenosine 11 types of hyaluronic acid alpha bisa bolol i don't know but they just have like a bunch of ingredients that help to soothe irritated skin and so it's really perfect for people with like acne prone skin or anyone with who experiences a lot of irritation with makeup you can also use this on top of your base makeup oh my gosh even the packaging is so cute like i just opened it like this 
and it opens like this. So when I take it out, you have this thing and yeah, there's just stuff on it. But it's in Korean, so I can't I can't read it. But this is massive. It's so big in comparison to this. It comes in like a little pump. As you can see, it's a lot more like um, nude colored. This is what it looks like. And this one is 12 US dollars. This one was really nice. It definitely feels really moisturizing and really nice. I love how it feels, but I also find that this one doesn't adhere as much as this. So I feel like I need to keep patting it. And I think if you use a sponge beauty blender, it should be pretty easy. I was just using my fingers. That's why it was a little bit hard to blend in. But once it dries, it's completely fine. So yeah. I do find this one's a bit easier to use sometimes. Okay, so this first stuff is what I ordered with my own money. Matches. Oh my gosh, the sun is going down and I'm trying to film in natural light. Everything's pink actually. First, I just got this eyebrow pen. After the eyebrow pencil, I got this foundation cushion. I don't know about this brand because I'm pretty sure they're like not FDA approved. It just comes with a cushion and also a refill for it. And I like that it's like magnetic. Next, I just got this high shine lip color. So this is what it looks like. It's a lot more orange than I expected actually. This smells a bit minty. Okay, it's definitely a lot more coral than I expected, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So this is like a lip plumping thing. Even the packaging is so cute. Okay, this is what it looks like. I thought it just looked really interesting. So it like looks like an injection. Anyways, I'm pretty sure you push this up. Do I have to twist it? What? Okay, I pushed it up. Okay, this one's a lot more pink. This one also has like a minty smell to it. It is pretty pigmented, so that's really good. Oh, I can feel it tingling. I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> and I have one more lip tint. And then I got a lip tint. Oh my god, the color like scares me. Like in person, it's so dark. I don't like the smell. It smells really like chemically. And it's so red. I think that these were kind of a fail. Okay, and what I was really really excited about is this. This is like a, a matte highlight powder and you use it for like contouring and stuff. But I get really bad um, under eye circles so I heard if you put matte highlighter where you have like a shadow it makes it look less bad so yeah, instead of like caking a bunch of concealer on it. Wait, anyway, this is what it looks like. I just did like a swipe here. I'm actually really excited to use it and it comes with a little mirror too which is really handy and nice. And it feels like there's a lot of product in here. It's pretty heavy so... I don't think we'll like run out of it, so I'm just gonna wipe this. <laughs> oh my gosh, the tint is crazy. That's like what the, that's this one. Wow, I don't know if it's like gonna come off. That's crazy. That's kind of good, but it's really dark for color, so I'm kind of scared. But anyway, so I joined the YesStyle Influencer program thing, and it's really good. If you um, are a YouTube channel or like TikTok, Instagram, anything, I really recommend signing up for it. I'll put the link below. Basically, you can choose like a free item that you want. And I chose the Anua serum because this has been so popular everywhere. And the funny thing is that I also signed up for like a Anua partnership thing, and they also sent me the serum as well. So, okay, this is what it looks like. Oh my god, you can't see how pretty it is in person. It looks so much more pink. I don't know why it looks so dull here, but yeah, it's so pretty. I'm really excited to use this and I'll give you guys a review after it. But it's made out of glass as well. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah, as you can see, I have another one of the Anua serum. But they also sent me this one. This is the red one. This one's also been really popular. Everyone says like this one's more potent than the pink peach one. So this is the red one. If you compare it side by side, okay, oh my god, both of these look so much better in person. I don't know why it looks so ugly on camera, but they're both made out of glass. So the pink one is 70% peach niacin, and this one is niacinamide, 10%, and trinazemic acid is 4%, and they're both just um, brightening serums. They're both really good for like dark spots and just dull skin and like making your skin tone more even. Fully ran out of like brightening serums, so I'm really, really grateful they sent me this. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little review after I've used everything. See you. Hey guys, so I've tried out the products and I want to let you guys know my thoughts and opinions after using them so this one oh my gosh it smells so good it actually smells like peach i really like the texture it's pretty watery and it absorbs really quickly into the skin which is great i didn't feel any irritation nothing and i'm pretty sure this one's not as strong as the other one so i've been using it pretty frequently and consistently i feel like my skin is definitely brighter but i don't know if that's just placebo the user experience is great i love that it's pink as well um it doesn't look as pink in the camera but i promise in person it's a lot more pink i really like nice cinema so this serum is literally perfect for me. I can see why 
it became really viral. I, I like this one quite a lot. For the other one, I've only used this a couple times because I heard it was a lot stronger and 10% niacin mine is actually pretty strong. So I think this one would be really good if you're actually trying to see really effective results in brightening your skin and skin complexion. So I think this one is more effective than this one, but I think the peach one is prettier and it smells better and it has a better user experience. Yeah, overall, they're both really good. I'm definitely going to continue using them. Maybe repurchasing again. The only downside to this is that it's 30 mils and I use quite a lot of serum. I always put two drops on each cheek and also my forehead so I'm pretty much using six drops overall and a lot of the time that's like a whole pump so I do go through my serums really quickly but I do find that like using more of one product is more beneficial than using little amounts of a lot of products in um, like one go. Yeah, I like these. Probably like 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's all the products that Yastel sent me. I'm really grateful that I was able to review all these products for you guys. 